Brad Cook here for the Barefoot Rugby League Show. You see David Peachy travelling all over the place. Tony Curry's getting out. Well, you got me out again, and I'm down here on the beautiful Terrigal Lagoon at the Brendan Franklin Oval, right here, the home ground of the Terrigal Womberal Junior Rugby League Club, the Sharkies. Come with me and check out this fine club. Here with Spacco, one of the unsung heroes for the Terrigal Womberal Sharks. You've been around the club for a while. How long for Spacco? Uh, since about 1977, mate. Yeah? Uh, yeah. When did Terrigal Womberal first start? 1976. Right. And that, so yeah, it had started off, I think, up to about under 13s, and then they built up to 15s then, and then the comp changed to 16s, and it's and won quite a few premierships. It's a shock and place you're playing out here on the Terrigal Lagoon, it's beautiful. There's a lot of footies out there, and that, <laughs> a lot of people used to pick them up on the other side of the lake. Well, just from accidentally going over, or? It kicks to touch, as you can see, it's very close, so yeah, it just kicks, <laughs> kicks into touch. Have you had any players come through the ranks to play NRL football from Terrigal Womble? Yeah, Glenn Morrison and Timmy Maltzen. They're playing NRL rank, ranks in the NRL now. It's a sad day for Olivia. You're not allowed to play footy after today because you've just turned 12 and they don't allow girls to play rugby league here after the age of 12. Are you sad about that? Yeah, I'm really sad and I don't know what I'll play next to. What did you like about rugby league in the first place? Oh, well, I liked running around and getting muddy. And so how many times have you scored tries in your career? Last year I scored four, this year I only scored two, and this week I scored one. Not bad. Is this a sad moment for you though, Sue? Um, well, I'm very proud of Olivia and I enjoy watching her chase boys up and down the field and do some awesome tackles sometimes. So, yes, it is. At the moment, Olivia's faster than many of the boys, which is a good thing. Some of the boys in the team actually had a couple of crushes on her, so it'll be a sad moment for them. <laughs> Is that right? Pretty much. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. We are yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrick Flint and also Jarrett Boland playing their 100th game for the club. Congratulations, Patrick. Thank you. How do it feel like there to run out and play your 100th today? Pretty good. Does it really matter you're playing your 100th or you just love playing the game? Pretty much love playing the game. Yeah. I saw you playing 5-8 today and Jarrett was standing next to you most of the time. He's been playing together your whole lives? Mm-hmm. Are you better than him? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. He's not that good. Yeah? But you're bigger than him, so you can sort it out later, can't you? Yeah. What is it about the game of rugby league that you like playing? You get to hurt kids and tackle and... Yeah, I just like it. Hurt in a nice, friendly way, right, Jarrett? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Found a dead little Koori star of the future. What's your name? Mason. Mason, and uh, when are you going to start playing football? Next year. Yeah? And what position are you going to be? Big front rower? I'll be a little dink. Yeah? Make a presentation now on behalf of New South Wales Fogs and Madison Sports. Their $500 worth of sporting goods goes to the Terrigal Womble Sharks. And a congratulations to uh, Keith for being the lucky winner. Yeah, look, thanks very much. This is fantastic for um, a small club like us. I just want to say a massive big thank you to Madison Sports and Fogs for this donation. This is just unreal for us. Thanks, thanks heaps. Mate, beautiful place you got down here. Yeah, no, it's great. We love it down here. It's a nice spot. We're by the lake there. Kids love it. We've got some great kids here. Yeah. This ground, is this a council run ground? No, we're fairly unique in the coast in the sense that this is not a council run ground. We have a lease on it, so all the expenses here, we actually cover them ourselves just through fundraising and sponsors. We saw a couple of kids play their 100th game today, but also some of the kids are playing for the feeder club for the Melbourne Storm. Yeah, that's right. This year we had six of our under-16 boys play Harold Matts. Last year I think it was four or five that we had playing, and, and I would imagine this next year our under-15 side would pretty comfortably put five or six in there again, yeah. You've been the recipient, luckily, of the New South Wales Fogs giveaway. What is $500 worth of equipment going to do for you? Oh, look, it's massive. Any training gear for us is fantastic. For a small club, we're a very, very successful club. We have very good coaches that have really good training techniques. So the more training gear we, we can get, the, the better it is for the kids. And the kids love it. Thanks, New South Wales Fogs! Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah.